the music's so uplifting. When you go see them, you come out feeling so good and so energised and it gets everybody talking when it's finished. And again, it perpetuates the family feeling with everybody. We know the band, the band come out and talk to everybody. They just act like normal people. They don't play the gig, walk off stage and that's it. Visionary painter, the techniques so fine. Viewed the world through two empirical eyes. The pollen man that did not fit the paradigm. Thus he chose to redefine. With a curious mind, the flowing time. Detailed delineations, observations precise. Studies and sketches, free and fine lines. Well, I discovered the band long before I discovered the Facebook group, um, so I probably would uh, have been along here. Um, but would I be along here um, uh, interacting with with people that are now terrific friends? Probably not. I, I would just be coming along, going to a gig, and enjoying that and having a great time. For my sins, I'm I'm one of the moderators on on the on the Facebook group, and uh, uh, my, my my fellow moderators. Uh, um, uh, Sue Heather and, uh, and and Toby Jansen are are two people who uh, just just going back to what we were just talking about there just five years ago I, I didn't know who these people were I, I had n I'd never met them I had no idea and and now you know we're firm friends now I know I, I do I maintain the Twitter account and you know I have a fair bit to do with the the Facebook side of things Instagram is a bit new to me David David started getting involved in that Nick's very good at social media um, Ricard is as well, so there's it's kind of a lot of us doing it now, and I think it's important that um, that it's a that you do take personal interest. You know, I've been yeah, I've been checking to see what the response has been. Um, I certainly personally, I'll be on Facebook, you know, probably every other day. I'll have a look um, just to make sure things are you know well ticking along nicely. But we've got moderators who manage the forum and stuff, you know, um, so I, it's not something that we it's something we choose to engage with because I think it's important um, and yeah so we were careful in selecting the moderators and um, we wanted someone or people with good sense of humor um, and with good judgment and those two things are the most important when you're when you're um, moderating forum and the three people that we chose I think have been an amazing choice now they do have to keep on top of it Forums can very quickly go downhill if, if uh, when arguments start to ensue. The, the band themselves set down a, a specific set of rules for behaviour on the, the Facebook group, and uh, and part of our role is to uh, is to make sure that those you know those rules are are adhered to. And uh, sometimes it's really difficult because the the, the subject matter of some of the band's songs. Um, uh, might might be well certainly certainly yeah. there's, there's some religious yeah. aspects um, um, not 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 overtly political. religious but uh, yeah. but uh, but some religious and some political aspects. It's lovely. It's manageable with the three of us because we just sort of you know off each other really. Yeah.
I am on the forum almost constantly. Uh, it's almost an addiction. Uh, I like following the conversation about the music. I like being introduced by the fellow passengers to other music I may wind up liking. But I think it is this fellowship, it's this coming together, and I'm as excited to meet the people that I've not seen for ages and the new people tonight, and being in such a beautiful, intimate environment as listening to the concert. I think they kind of, they, they overlay each other, I think. And you've only got to look at some of the contributors on the forum who have got their own musical lives elsewhere. You've got Robin from Cosmograph, you've got, you know, Peter Jones and Tiger Moth Tales are always contributing to the Big Big Train Forum too. So it's opening up the world for them, mm. not just the, the guys from Big Big Train. At first it was the music, but then when you start looking and you start interacting with everybody else, especially on the, on the Facebook group, um, and also then coming to concerts and meeting people uh, and putting names to faces, uh, and realising that there's such a wide spectrum of people that all like the same sort of music that you do. And that, that's what it's all about. If, you know, in the mornings you wake up now and you want to see who's, who's made the next joke, who's made the next, uh, you know, observation. And it's, uh, it's, it's just interesting. It's, it, it's wonderful. Just in the few years that I've been a, a fan, I've met so many people um, uh, going to concerts, going to gigs uh, and, uh, and online. Uh, made some really fast friendships. Um, you know, I, I, I didn't know this guy um, uh, till till a year or two ago. At the time that I joined it, it was um, th there was uh, maybe I think there was maybe about fifteen hundred members in the group. So, and there was a nice intimacy about that. You know, it was, uh, and you interacted a lot more with them and got to know them and got these friendships. It was a really good window for the band to get in touch with their audience. Really, so I mean, I I think they're definitely interested in having a group. Yeah. Growing. And because they're involved as well, I think oh, yeah. that, that's another added attraction for people yep. that are yeah. contributing. It started with the music, yep. for sure, but um, from that, as like I say, it's grown such you know, special friendships. Um, yeah, and I think that's become, it's a much bigger picture than yeah. just, just, you know, the, the music. Yeah. Um, you know, that's yeah. what's very special about it. It's yeah. the people that come together and share something that you know we're all so passionate about. Yep. Yeah. The the group being specifically about Big Big Train, you know, they're they're happy for people to um, to talk about. Uh, Almost anything, yeah. um, and uh, you know, a lot of good music links are are are, are featured on on the group, and uh, and actually when there's when there's downtime between albums or tours, um, not that there's that much because the, the, these so guys are so, so prolific. Right now, yeah. um, when there's a little bit of downtime, the the um, the the threads can 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 fly all over the place. So that variety is what keeps it fresh, I yeah. think. Well, there are there are there are similarities between the Baby Train Forum and many other pro groups as well, but there is a certain difference. Do you know what? I think it's actually. I mean, it's it's brilliant because it spreads the word. But again, I think it's such a small community community in the sense that it feels like it's a. Sm you sometimes forget that you're actually mm. spreading the word, mm. which. That can be a good thing in the sense you can be more yourself. Yeah. Social but media has such a wide reach yeah. and you only so have to easy. look at the people that are here for this tour. Uh, and I think that's, that's reflective of the Facebook group itself. Yeah. Um, we, we, we have people from all over the world um, who, are, who are contributing um, and who we now go to these gigs and we meet them face to face for the first time and it's, it's like meeting an old friend. Um, it's that, that feeling of family, even though people are far and wide, and that's, I think, probably something that maybe is missing in society at the moment because of the way that we live our lives, and I think that's perhaps what makes the difference in this group is the fact that it is like one great big family being brought together and, and the group being the centre of that, and I think that's something, yeah, something special. <laughs> and I think groups need to be out there, they need to be on social media, they need to be meeting the, 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 their fans after the concerts to actually make that connection. There are a lot of similar minded people. Um, so there are certain festivals that I go to where I will meet 10, 15, 20 people in real life who are also passengers. What the internet and Facebook has allowed us to do is to interact more directly and more frequently 
than just meeting at concerts. So if it was just meeting at concerts, it's lovely and you get to see people and you interact and you normally have a few drinks with them and a chat. But when you can then go back on Facebook and share photographs and comment on those photographs, and there's a lot of humor involved. Um, I, I think it's lovely and it, it becomes almost like a big extended family. And I, and I think some of these events are almost like going to a family wedding. And it's just indicative of that huge sort of family feeling that all of us who are fans of Big Big Train have managed to engender together through the Big Big Train Facebook page. And I think the very fact we've got social media where we can, f we can interact far better now with the bands than we ever did. This has been an absolute revelation to me because, you know, in those days you actually had to write a physical letter and then wait weeks and, you know, you were lucky to get something back from the band that you were particularly fond of. So I think the whole thing about social media is it's brought bands and fans together. It's almost been like a, a seamless coming together of the two and I think it's been absolutely fantastic. And especially with Big Big Train who really value their, their fans, look after them, love them. The, the kind of the music has sort of brought us all together and you know we, we talk freely and we everybody knows what everybody else is up to but in in a good way you know there's we just want to know about each other's lives because we've all kind of now we've reached this age where we've all got our own particular stories to tell and we do want to share them the forum is is a lot of people have probably said this but it is a little bit different from what you'd expect because um, as we all know social media can be a bit of a minefield at times but you know the forum feels like a safe and friendly place you know and the, the, there's a little bit of disagreement every now and then but it's all you know done in a, in a nice way and the, obviously the moderators are amazing so yeah, the yeah moderators. absolutely we, we love the moderators they are nice they do a great job uh, i can't think of any other and i am involved with other sites i can't think of another site that has moderators working so respectfully again though but keeping it right and yeah. keeping it yeah. you know mm -hmm. and and the band are involved in it as well yeah. that's the the, <laughs> the beauty that it's not a forum that's detached from the band because they they are happy to yeah. contribute on a regular basis but of course you you've heard this a million times already that there's the physical meeting and then there's the forum yes which is another meeting place so yeah you know yeah, we met so many yeah. terrific Mike people, Martin, huh? absolutely yeah. wonderful people, many of whom are still um, in this little group of close friends who we're, um, we're hanging with this week, and a lot of them are, are sixers themselves, what we're, that's what we're calling the people that are doing all six gigs. Yeah, and, people from uh, the States. People from yeah. the States, yeah, yeah and uh, it's been great. I mean, the prog scene, you know, there, there's, I was saying to somebody earlier that I, I think I've listened to about 60 albums this year already. Of, uh, of new prog releases, and that's probably just scratching the surface of the, the amount of material that's that's out there. It's although it's a, a, a very it's a niche market, and although the following is very de dedicated for when bands acquire a following, it's still I think um, it's great when a, a band like Big Big Train rises to the well, the the top, as it were, and I think having a sort of a loyal fan base and people who get really excited about the music and want to come to the, the, the gigs, I think that's, that's very important and um, along may it continue.
At the, at the Edinburgh, there's a, a very important um, passenger who passed away earlier this year, a chap by the name of Roy Hunter. And there's a, there's a meme that runs throughout the Big Big Train group that's been going on for years, and it's to do with sprouts. Um, and uh, we, we're, we're, we're not quite sure, but, but Roy, Roy is a guy that instigated this, and, uh, and, uh, and the, the band and the passengers have all taken on this thing about sprouts. And, uh, and Roy unfortunately passed away. He had his ticket for Edinburgh, couldn't make it. And, um, and, and as a, a tribute, we, uh, we thought we'll bring in um, a basket, uh, we'll have Roy's picture on it, we'll leave it on Roy's seat and ask people to put a sprout in the basket. Um, so Roy, sadly, um, again, a key part of making the forum fun and enjoyable, sadly passed away um, not long before the tour and um, he was there in spirit, obviously not in body, but um, certainly he, uh, yeah, he's 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 someone that sadly wasn't able to see any more Big Big Train shows. But um, yeah, we we were thinking of him when we were playing. I mean, we those that knew him will sadly miss Roy. Yes. He was a big part of the site. Yeah, he was one of the the early ones. Um, a terrific sense of humour. He was the one who came up with the sprouts that became a running joke that's still running, yeah. as you'll know from last night with the basket on the seat with the sprouts for him. Um, we'll miss him. Okay, we met Roy Hunter at the Cadogan shows. I actually came across Roy on the Saturday afternoon. We were making our way to Islington to go to a pub to see the Peter Jones, the Mad Monsters Tea Party spin-off show. Anyway, I got out of the tube station at Islington and walked across the road, and there, leaning against the wall, was Roy. And poor old Roy wasn't having a good day, his back was hurting and he was struggling to walk. So anyway, I left him in the capable hands of Janet for a few minutes, while I ran off and found a taxi and we got him to the gig on time. So, so the, the, the sprouts on the Big Week Train Facebook group go back to um, a, a passenger who actually very sadly passed away uh, earlier this year, Roy Hunter. Um, who was a huge fan of the band, and Roy and I actually had a connection, and he was, yeah, he had a very wry sense of humour, and used to, on the Facebook group, about Easter, start reminding people that now is the time to put your sprouts on to boil for Christmas. It's kind of a British joke about cooking sprouts forever. Um, and it just became a kind of running gag in the Facebook group, so sprouts just get mentioned periodically and you probably know that the um, Edinburgh concert which Roy was hoping to go to um, but sadly passed away beforehand as a tribute to him a basket was placed on the seat he would have occupied and passengers brought sprouts and put them in and, um, although I wasn't there I've seen the photos and like many big drain moments you know, brought a lump to the throat and a tear to the eye um, and I briefly got to meet Roy at Cadogan Hall. He came down to one of the Cadogan Hall concerts last year um, and it was the first chance we'd actually met. But it was so, so nice to get to meet a fellow passenger and somebody who we had this connection to. Um, yeah, so Roy is the origin of the running joke about Sprouts. I'm sure they'll carry on long into the future, even though sadly he's no longer with us. Sun, out into the great sea, to the pillars and the